talking to people online and talking to people in person is always different. I'm sure everyone knows. So when we look online and we see these people with their opinions and their dramatic actions, we should just take a step back. I've come to find that when I speak to people in person, all this, this person is the op, all these meaningless conversations that are being discussed online are irrelevant. It's weird that you can't even have simple conversations with people, your own people, without all this, they're the op, all this unwanted confusion. So I took it upon myself to do some exploring. And as I continue to proceed in my research, I just find it more beneficial to speak to people face to face than online. Shoot, I'm starting to feel like some of these spectators are under the impression that they're hostages because they don't like my opinion. They don't like how I connect these weird-ass people in front of your face. They get to speculating on where I'm going with my content. They get to talking reckless and volunteering unnecessary information. Then they want to act like, oh, people are just coming at them for no reason. When moments like this, the most uninterested people just find all the time in the world to keep making their commentary, their comments about other people's commentary because they don't want to do their own research. And it seems like to me, if this genius over there knew what I knew, he would know you cannot find Aaliyah and R. Kelly's marriage certificate online. You can find what other people have uploaded. And there is a difference between getting that picture, those images, and going to a clerk's office. So how are you going to get something or attain something online when it doesn't exist, genius? You big dummy. <laughs> these allegations R. Kelly is just dropping music I believe I can fly songs like Ignition I wish a very talented young man Is the remix to ignition hot and fresh out the kitchen?
recently, you guys said you did, this wasn't an R. Kelly ban, but you said there's a bunch of artists that we don't like. Within the past hour, I learned commissioners instructed the county attorney to send a letter to the concert promoter, Live Nation, to cancel R. Yeah, Kelly's enraged. concert. A collective group of women known as Mute R. Kelly are trying to do just that. And yet Barnes asked the commission to pull the plug on R. Kelly's August 25th concert. Mute R. Kelly wants Atlanta to follow the lead of at least three other cities who have canceled his concerts. They've cited low ticket sales. Anecdotally, the low ticket sales are due to public outrage. threatening to sue Lifetime of all people if they go ahead tonight and air a six-part docu-series surviving R. Kelly, which... I admit that I don't own my music. I admit that I will own my music. Want it back, but they don't want to do it. What the fuck, nigga? I wrote that music. I did that bumping ground. I did that 12 play. I did that fed up. I changed the damn game. I am handcuffed like a lot of you mother I'm handcuffed by my destiny. It's too late. They should have did this 30 years ago. It's too late. Please forgive me how I'm living. I was born to drive. 